So Impact Thread partnered with Education NC to create a survey tool that would allow us to really better understand the perspectives and the attitudes of the Education NC readership. Um, and so part of the priority of this tool was to really get at um, are the tools that Ed NC is putting out there, are they being utilized? And what are the perspectives of the readership in utilizing these tools? What are the perspectives of the content that Ed NC is putting out? Um, and how basically is, is Ed NC being interpreted in the space of education as a nonpartisan media tool? And so what we found was actually really interesting. Um, we didn't go into the survey with really any preconceived notions or hypotheses. We sort of just wanted the data to speak for itself. We had 225 participants total. Uh, we felt that this was a really representative sample of the readership of Education NC, so we feel like these conclusions are very valid. And basically two major findings um, I think are really important to highlight here. The first is the credibility aspect of Education NC. So what we found was that almost 90% of the respondents felt that Education NC was a useful tool um, to better understand the landscape of North Carolina. Um, it's important to note also that about 70% of these respondents identified as education leaders or participants in the education space. So we view a hefty uh, portion of this sample as experts in the education space and in a unique position to really identify and tell us what's useful. 73% of respondents have noted that they referred somebody before to the Education NC website. So that shows that it's really impactful and it struck a chord with enough people that they wanted to refer somebody else to the information that Ed NC was promoting. 70% of the participants feel that Ed NC is provide, providing an important and unique service and is really filling the gap in information about North Carolina, education in North Carolina. So overall, the data really shows us that participants value not only the information provided by Education NC, but also the processes in which it's provided. The fact that 70% of people feel that this is a tool that is giving them information that is not otherwise given to them. Um, only about 10% of people noted that they had seen something before, like Education NC, um, and, and nothing in North Carolina specifically. And all of the examples that they cited were not a platform that, like Education NC was. It was a uh, more reports or specific data that had come out. Um, uh, looking at specific problems and not a neutral data providing or not a neutral tool that really provides all types of information, pertinent issues. Um, there, was, there was really a strong sense of the fact that this tool was unique and was being utilized for its unique purpose. So another finding that is really important to, to hit on here is the level of credibility um, that the readership feels that Education NC has to report on these issues and to provide the information about education in North Carolina. Um, so over 50% of respondents felt that Education NC provided a, is a reliable resource uh, to keep them updated on education in North Carolina. Furthermore, almost 70% of respondents felt that Education NC provides a comprehensive landscape of what's going on in education in North Carolina. We asked people to identify whether they were a general reader, a funder, a board member, or a contributor. And specifically for the contributors, we asked them why they felt inspired to contribute to Education North Carolina. And the highest cited reason was that they felt that they wanted to be part of the conversation. This tells us that there is a conversation going on that Education NC is leading and is considered a platform in the space for accelerating voices in this conversation and amplifying those voices. And the people that are contributing want to contribute because they feel that through the vessel of Education NC they can be part of this conversation. So that is, that's really huge. And I think going off of this finding, something that I would recommend for for further impact and, and for further understanding of the tool of Education NC 
is to really highlight the abilities of the internal staff and, and really try and make the internal staff um, push them up at the level of, of their voices in education and see, um, you know, try and, try and make them household names in a way. Allow people to identify with them and what they're doing. Uh, this will only increase attachment and motivation from your readership to the, the tenets and the mission of Education NC. And when I say, you know, push them up, I think just make them more identifiable. Utilize their expertise as much as possible. Utilize, you know, technology and social media, things like Facebook Live. You know, utilize your staff in a Facebook Live situation when they're reporting on an issue. Um, so just sort of take down that, that distance barrier is going to be really helpful. Another really interesting finding that almost 70% of participants, participants identified that Education NC has made a positive impact on their community. Now, in this survey, we weren't really able to go in depth as to what that impact is or what that looks like. Recommendations for further research would definitely be to take a deep dive in understanding how they feel that impact has happened in their community, how they feel personally attached to that impact, how NNC has directly made that impact. Um, those could all be sort of questions to think about for further research. But it really is important to note that you know over 70% of people feel that Education NC specifically is making an impact in their community with the information that's being put out and with the tools that they're providing for people to better understand what's going on in North Carolina about education. So this is huge and this is a foundational finding that really we can try and build off of. So you know again over 80 percent of respondents feel that education and see is a credible and reliable resource that really paints a neutral picture of the landscape of education in North Carolina. And what's more is that no one has really identified any other organization, tool, or mechanism that does this the same way that Education NC does. And so there's really two things going on here. It's a uniqueness of the model, and it's a uniqueness of the interaction of the readership with the model. And so I think moving forward, it's going to be really important to really better understand how the readership and how the community is interacting with Education NC and how this model specifically is encouraging mission attachment and encouraging motivation to learn and better understand what's going on in education. Because I think that's also the key here is, is not only are people interested in this who are in the education space, but more and more we're finding, uh, and this is you know from the Google Analytics results that Mevin showed me, you're, we're seeing that basically slowly we're attracting a different audience and we're attracting people that are distantly related to education because they're seeing how it actually does directly impact them. So this is really important and it's important to continue to learn and grow and figure out what within this model is unique enough to foster that attraction and foster that motivation. And so moving forward, I think it's going to be really important to, to get a better understanding of the readership and how they're interacting specifically with the NC model. I think my overall takeaway, looking at the data and understanding how we got this data, um, is people are energized about education and see. People are energized about the model. People both within the education space and outside of the education space are coming to NC for information. NC is putting out information in a really unique way that's affecting and impacting the community. They are, people are able to take this information and somehow take action to make an impact on their community. This is a great start as far as data collection and understanding where we are with the model. I think that there can be a lot more research to be done to really identify the sweet spot of the NNC model and also really identify how we best fill a need in the community and make sure that we are doing everything internally to meet that need. Um, I think that this 
you know, is a huge step forward in saying that we are achieving our theory of change. Because I think that, according to this data, I mean, we're a credible source. People are identifying us as a credible source, which is huge. And people are identifying the uniqueness of it. And, and so I think building off of these two major findings, we could go a really long way with really refining and understanding our model and how it really serves its purpose.